Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about a really touchy subject. We're going to talk about why this game sucks. And I'm I hate to be like no one really I don't really enjoy watching you know people's YouTube videos when they're just basically complaining the whole time, but I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to talk and I'm going to be very calm about it, but I'm going to explain why this game sucks. And really the main reason why this game sucks is right here. This guy Eric Dickerson, because his ability, if anyone who plays this game, you know why this is just not, this shouldn't be in the game. He just breaks every single tackle, like he breaks every single tackle, like it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. He gets his little NFL 100 ability, he starts the game with it, and he just literally breaks every tackle, and it's it's not even fun, like like I have him, but like I switched as you can see. I just played weekend league and I didn't do very good. I went twenty. I still got top one hundred, but I went twenty and five, and I just I didn't use him. Like I used the Saints playbook, and I didn't really run that much. I was just basically passing. But I went twenty and five. But when I don't do that and I come out in my run heavy playbook, I literally get top fifty. And all you have to do is just run the ball up the middle. You know it. It's very it's very hard because you can play 25 games a week in league and I'm not even exaggerating 20 of those games are literally going to be either Eric Dickerson running the ball all game and until you stop his and the funny thing is is these guys that run it up the middle and just run it every single play every single play every single play the second you get their ability off of him it's a GG like they're bad they're just not good players nothing against them it's like it's just they're not good players and literally like once you get that ability it's just it's a gg but you either face that or you face the people that come out in uh i forgot what the formation is called but they basically just come out and gun with the receiver on each side and they have an ability on them and they just put them on a corner route and let me tell you Everyone who plays this game, if you play this game at a competitive level where you're playing really good players, you know there is nothing, and I mean nothing. There is not one thing that guards a corner out in this game. Not one thing. The only thing that guards a corner out is when you blitz them and sack them or you user it. That's the only thing. That's really the only thing. So really, there's only two people you play if you're playing at a high level. And some people might think, oh, no, dude. This, I mean, this game's pretty fun. You know, I do, you're not playing at a high level. There's nothing against that. It's, it's cool. You can play it. You know, you can play people that aren't, you know, at the level that I play people at. That's completely fine. But I'm just letting you know, when you play people that I play in Weekend League, they only do these two things. There's, I'm not even kidding you. There's literally not anyone that's a good player that doesn't do the two things I just did. Corner routes the entire game or running the ball Eric Dickerson. It doesn't matter how you run the ball Eric Dickerson either, by the way. You can hand him a dive, a stretch, a toss. Not a toss. Pro tosses are pretty ass, but like you, you get the picture. But like that's really all there is to it. Like I have a couple, I have a couple little clips. I don't even really know what these clips are, but there's just so many bad things in this game that just... And it's just, I don't know, you just, I feel like sometimes you just get into a game and you're just not going to win. But I'll show you these last couple clips, but I, I'm sure everybody understands, like, that's why uh, this game is bad. But uh, what is this? Oh my god, literally watch this, guys. Watch this. This is, did I lose this game? I'm not sure if I lost this game, but watch this. This is the first play of the game, very first play. Stripped, Eric Dickerson. Okay, that's fine. I mean, whatever. I've never really stripped anybody else's Eric Dickerson, but it's fine. Very next play. Watch this. This is the very next play. I'm um, like, okay. Strip sack, fumble. Okay, two plays in a row, fumble. A little weird, but, you know, he sacked me, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, it's fine. All right. I see he's blitzing everyone because I have threat detector, right? So my quick little read the, to, to, yeah. And then what is that animation? But yeah, three fumbles in a row to start the game. Literally, this is the stuff I deal with, guys. Three fumbles <laughs> to start the game. <laughs> How does that even happen, man? 
How does that actually even happen? I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh yeah, watch. This was actually a cool play. Watch this. I'm using that, and I usered the tip. That was pretty dope. And then I almost fumbled because I usered over my guy. But I don't know. I feel like this game is really, really, really hard to play. Like I want to post videos and like whatever, but I really find it hard to play this game lately, at least. Oh yeah, this I lost this game. Keep in mind, I lost this game. I don't think this was weekend league though. This was, oh my god, this was my seasons game. This was my, was this my championship game? I can't see the sideline. Is it? No, it's division. This was my divisional game in seasons that I lost. I lost this game. This is my divisional game. Watch this. See triangle. Now, are you throwing that ball? Because I'm throwing that ball. Because guess who that guy is that's on the right? See the guy out to the right of triangle right there? That's Deion Jones. He's a linebacker. See number, see triangle? That's a receiver. And I'm pretty sure that's Torrey Hole. And I'm pretty sure that's the best receiver in the game. So I'm throwing it right. Now, right here. What do you think happens? Is it A, caught for a touchdown? Is it B, caught and he catches up to me or is it c it hits off a tory holt's hands bounces back and gets picked off if you guess c you're a smart person yeah yeah i lost this game i was in full control at the beginning but i lost that game i don't even know what this clip is like i'm literally just going to these clips just like i'm not actually like I don't even know what these are, but I'm just sure they're pretty bad. Like, literally. What is this? What is this? Why did I record this? What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know why I recorded that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe it was something that I did before. I, I don't really know. I feel like I'm wasting time now. I might have to edit this out. Uh, what did I do? I don't really know. But anyways, those are just things that make this game really hard to play. And another thing that just is kind of annoying is this Mel Renfro. You see him on the right side of the screen? If you open up, he's a, he's a Super Bowl pass player. If you open up this pack, 82 overall random past player you can't pull him out of it doesn't make any sense but that's how it works because this is mad and that's just how it is i don't know I, I i don't really i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna try playing this game a lot more because i really want to post videos but i don't know it's just really 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 hard to play but there's just there's a lot of things that are wrong and Actually, you know what? I'm going to retract that statement. There's not a lot of things wrong, but the things that are wrong are bad. <laughs> like like Eric Dickerson's ability, that's bad. That's just got to go. Like in the a lot of people they complain about the Moss ability. I don't really mind it. I mean, it's only for one play and you got to throw it 55 yards. I say only about I'd say about 20% of the time people complete it on me. Like, I usually just blitz everyone and it works out fine. But I say about 20% of the time, you know, people do get really lucky and they they throw it up. But, yeah, I don't know. Another thing that I found kind of fun to make this game enjoyable is I was going to all my positions and, like, unpowering up people and quick selling them. And I'd do the NAT Team of the Year set. And I was, like, basically just, I don't know, I kept doing it. But I got a lot of players I still got to power up. But I powered up some of them, as you can see, like Zach Martin, Kittle, Garrett. Casey Hayward, Peters, Wilson, but just do that set and the, the NAT set and just get your your players for hella cheap and I don't know. I, I thought that was kind of fun for me, but I don't know. I'm going to, tomorrow I'm definitely going to, I might even post another video after this one, but tomorrow I'll definitely have the weekend league rewards because I think I, I went 20 and 5, but I, unless something crazy happened because last night when I got off, I was like 60 something. So there's no way I didn't get top 100. It's just a matter of whether I got top 75 or not. Let's see. I'm on PlayStation, by the way. My gamer tag is Merc McGee. So if you ever seen play me, let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm 83rd. So that's not going to be the greatest rewards. But yeah, that's not going to be the greatest rewards. But it'll still be fine. So I'll post that. And then also I'll probably... 
I might post the gameplay after this one too, just to show you how people play when I play them. So, but yeah, that's it. I don't know. I thought I'd just talk about that because it's really hard to play this game lately, and I really just enjoy the the making the team, like creating your own team aspect of this, but like playing it, mm, not not really. So, but yeah, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'll probably post a video after this one. If not, I'll post a video tomorrow. So, see you guys later.